Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Mining MX episode 11, where we test the broadside mods, aluminum aggro. Yes, and this time I have the metal correct. Uh, beautiful uh, matte black finish on this one. Our usual setup, 60 amp, 3.5 volt power supply to take the place of the battery. The voltage never changes. Uh, electronic load set to 30 amps, so we always draw the same amount of current through everything. Firing the pulse after I press the button, so there's no arcing damage, no variable from that and two second pulse for current. And here is where we read the voltage across the atomizer, which will be the total voltage all the way through the atomizer, through the dummy battery, and through the mech. And then I subtract the, subtract the effects of the atomizer and the battery, and we're left with this. And that will be put up on screen in a table. This is a solid aluminum slug, just a few micro ohms. We'll also do 2700 and 18650 tests, arcing tests, and thermal testing. And I'm going to wrap this up in some grip tape for a consistent grip and we'll get started. Okay, voltage drop testing. Supposed to do uh, positive side down, but I find uh, less battery rattle with the dummy batteries positive side up. And I always try to leave a little gap here because that lets me know I'm tightening down onto the battery and not leaving the battery loose inside. Though, if it's very loose, you can hear it rattle. Okay, and we should see zero there. Good. All right, what I do is uh, at least five presses, and I throw away the high and low. I keep the middle three, and I average those for the voltage drop. And here you'll be able to see 30 amps approximately, and then here 30 amps where it's drawing. And so I'll press the button, no voltage drop, and fire. 0 0.041, 0 0.041, 0.052. Let me write these down. That's 0 0.041, 0 0.041, 0 0.052. My fingers were slipping a bit, I could feel that. 0 0.045, 0 0.048. I'm going to do a couple more because I had lower at the start. I want to find out is this a change in finger placement or what? 0.042. totally off. 0.057. I'm getting more inconsistent results here. 0 0.041. 0 0.050. Okay, so there's a little more variance in this one. 0.05. Point oh four five. Okay, I'm pretty sure about the uh, point oh four five, point oh five one. And just for comparison, the uh, white brass admiral, I believe, was uh, point oh three three. Copper dreamer was like point oh two six. So we're down low. The differences are, I think, are going to be minor once we look at the uh, calculated power levels. The oh, I won't be doing any resistance checking of the tube. Uh, it's just, the data just hasn't been consistent enough in how I can measure. I need to drill holes in the tubes for these probes to measure the tube resistance to get a consistent one across all the different tubes because just gripping onto the end with the threads wasn't working out well. So I'm not going to measure tube resistance anymore. It's just a waste of everybody's time. And next we are going to do arcing testing. And for that, we're going to switch to a point... 0.1 ohm load with 2.2 um, ohm resistance in parallel, and we're going to use a VTC 5A. And we're going to do 300 presses of the button, which I'm not going to subject you to. And just to make sure that everything is flowing, 
We do a quick check of current levels. 34.4 amps. 34.0, 33.9, 0 .8. Okay. There's a little bit, feels like a little more, um, not as quick a release. Slightly different uh, throw on this one versus the uh, white brass one. And for now, we're going to do uh, 300 presses and then I'm going to open up and check for arcing damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 300. Ha <laughs> ha. And this one, whoops, keep forgetting. Just can't twist it off. This time I'm not going to burn myself on the heat sink. And the button is, um, this button feels a little bit stickier than the others. Well, everything seems to be fine. It may just be uh, a little breaking in uh, that that needs. And we can, oops, <sighs> I had it apart to take a look at the arcing. And what I'm going to be doing is taking a look around the outside here, because this clutch plate, when you press down on it with the button, spreads out and makes contact from this pin to the outside of the mod. So we'll look along the inside edge here and around this. And for that, trusty magnifier. Okay, I see a few contact marks, but no, I mean, it's quote arcing unquote, but A, it is tiny. It's as, uh, as little as the um, copper broadside and less than the white brass. Now, that can be tolerances. It may not have to do with the metal. I don't know. And looking at the clutch plate, you have a few of the tiny marks also. Mostly, uh, some on the top plate. Some of the top plates, some of the bottom, so it's uh, evenly distributed. So not a lot of lot marking damage, arcing damage there, and you can get rid of a lot of this using, if I can find them, uh, Scotch Rite heavy duty scrubber pads. Take out the pin, and you just go around to clean that, and then this you don't looks like it's plated. You don't want to remove the plating, so you just carefully try to smooth out the high spots from the arcing damage. The pits you can never get rid of, and that's it for us. We'll go on to thermal testing and see if they would look for any hot spots and where heating occurs in this mod. Except that I completely forgot to do the 18650 voltage drop testing. So, see if there's any difference. I don't expect it because I didn't see difference in the other ones. But uh, let's check what we get for a voltage drop. Using anything subsisting. Okay, and get the button back here. Point oh five one. And like I said, fifty one millivolts, so that's point oh five one volts. Point oh five two. Point oh five eight. 1057, 0 0.058, 0 0.058, 0 0.052, 0 0.057. This is 18650. Sorry, writing it down. 0 0.057, 0 0.058, 0 0.058. All right, that's pretty consistent, 0 0.058. Versus the 0 0.048 or so, 0 0.047. So there's a slight difference for this one. Uh, between the 18650 and 2700 in the aluminum one and uh, I don't know why because the pins at either end are about the same but there's going to be some variation no matter what because just different button pressures this will always be the same on to thermal testing okay we have the Makia wrapped in black electrical tape to increase its uh, infrared emissivity even though the mod itself was coated we probably don't need this tape uh, but just to be consistent from one mod to the next, we'll have the tape on it, and uh, I'll remove the tape at the end. 
and we're going to apply 30 amps continuous now on the white brass one it is actually um, my fingers seem to be heating up the atomizer since there's no coil in there more than any kind of uh, heating does uh, internal heating You see the, where my left thumb is actually heating up the table. Okay, we've got maybe a degree, maybe, down at the bottom. I don't expect much. Let's uh, let me spin it around a bit to see if we're uh, any hot spots. None. That's fantastic to see. All right, there we go. There's a little heating in the button. You can see the seam with the button right about here, the right edge of my thumb. The heating, but it still hasn't hit my body temperature yet. And this is 30 amps continuous. This is brutal. This is much more than any vapor is going to do. But it shows you that the heating in the aluminum is a little more than the white brass, which makes sense because the resistance of the aluminum one was a little higher than white brass. But we still haven't even hit body temperature yet. See my thumb nail. And a lot of my thumb are about 31 Celsius. And where are we now? We're like 28, 29. Heat spreading seems to be pretty good here. You can see the atomizer. It's cooler. So all the heat's coming down, all the heat, quote unquote, fraction of a watt's coming in from the left. Okay, after all this time, it's still not up to my body temperature yet. And that's good enough. Okay, and just for reference, because, you know, if I take my thumb away, it makes the hottest part white hot, but it's really not white hot. I mean, it's still below my body temperature. And let's take a look at, see if that coating, okay, so we can see, now you can see the Admiral, where the aluminum is, that's reflective. See how it's showing the temperature of my f reflected finger, where it was, um, machined out here, engraved, but it's hard to see the difference. The tape ends right here. So the black coating on the on this black aluminum uh, admiral makes for a great uh, infrared emitter, and we really didn't need the tape up here. But it's good to have it, and it's always consistent. So, very little heating, tiny bit more than the brass, but that makes sense, a tiny bit more resistance than the brass. And that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching.